Hello, hello. So I'm going back to school. Yay! And since I haven't been on campus in two and a half years, it's been long enough for me to forget all of the stressful parts and to romanticize being a student again. And so I decided to film a little lookbook of preppy slash academia inspired outfits that are comfortable, easy to assemble, and is professional enough for people to take me seriously as a PhD student, but still casual enough for me to be able to relate to other students. Let's start with a simple black skirt and sweater combo. I feel like Argyle patterns scream academia, and I love how this classic pattern evolved with a range of fun colours. This black and teal colour scheme is probably more of the loudest outfits in this video, and I just love it. And it gives me kind of badass law or business student vibes. I think this outfit is definitely on the preppier side of the spectrum. And yes, arguably, in my opinion, these academia aesthetics are on the same spectrum as preppy fashion. With this jumper, this next outfit is a bit more classic and a bit more cozier than that last one, and leans towards the dark academia aesthetic. I got this sweater from Uniqlo. It is so comfortable and feels like a warm cup of tea which is why I'm holding that teacup. Oh, and also if you're at all confused by all the terminology, I've linked some articles down in the description that do a better job than me at explaining all of the different styles. But anyway, this outfit is so cozy and comfortable and I love how soft everything is. It's perfect for those long library days. And now I've got to talk about the skirt. This was once my favorite corduroy jeans that died. I followed a pretty popular design that's all over my Pinterest and for a good reason, because it literally goes with everything. Also, I love how there's slits on the sweater that match with the slit on the skirt. This next outfit is probably something I'll wear when I'm tutoring. I feel like it gives professional but still cool and approachable tutor vibes that I feel like is being undermined by my acting here. I thrifted these pants and have been wearing them practically everywhere, to the office, to the shops, wherever I go. They're very comfortable and warm and can be easily dressed down or up, depending on the top that I'm wearing. A baggier top makes business casual pants like these easy to wear anywhere. And pairing this corduroy jumper or shirt uh, makes for an even more breezier and unbothered look. Here's another example of styling these pants with another top from Uniqlo. I feel like this outfit really encapsulates this effortless but classical academia look. I love the drop shoulders on this top and the draping that's created by this neckline. And of course, you can't complete an academia outfit without some moody posing with books and coffee. I'm convinced that this is what academics do all day, and that's exactly how I plan on spending the next three or so years at uni. I also just want to point out how the buckle detail on my loafers match the detail on the pants. These types of details are probably not very noticeable, but just make me happy with myself for being able to come up with a coherent outfit. This next outfit is much more polished and formal, with yet again another Uniqlo turtleneck. These turtlenecks are one of their mainstay clothing items and they come in several colours. They're also made from this fleecy material which is perfect for fall weather. Warm but still breathable. Adding a blazer definitely dresses this outfit up. I really like how turtlenecks look with blazers, and I think this is definitely an outfit that I'll be saving for conferences or whenever I want to look like I know my stuff. And here's a montage of me trying to exude confidence that this outfit inspires. I really like how menswear inspired cuts have gained popularity in women's fashion. And this outfit is probably my best attempt at encapsulating that with the blocky shapes created by the blazer, the muted blue turtleneck and slacks. The exposed ankle adds a bit of boyishness to the outfit, and I'm so ready to take on old white men mansplaining my own research to me. Yet another outfit featuring a turtleneck from Uniqlo. But really the pants are the star of the show here. I thrifted them even though they're just from Glassons, but I like to tell everyone that I thrifted these because they look pretty unique and like they could be vintage. Even though I haven't really seen too much of paper bag styles included in academia, I feel like these still belong with the pattern and the sort of pleats that are created by the paper bag design and belt. I switched out my loafers for these ankle boots for some variety, and I think that a pointed toe goes better with these pants. I experimented by adding a black blazer, which I initially liked the look of, 
but the black on black reminded me too much of Elizabeth Holmes. And science fraud is definitely not a vibe I want to give off. So instead I'm pairing this outfit with a denim jacket. I know denim jackets are normally not part of preppy nor academia styles, but rules are made to be broken, and a jacket like this gives an otherwise classic and uh, studious look a bit of a back of the bus vibe. I think a crop jacket would work especially well with the high waist pants here, but I don't have anything like that, so I'm gonna pretend that this jacket is cropped to give you guys an idea. This next outfit is me pretty much recreating this look from Pinterest. Completely by the book. <laughs> <laughs> puns. Anyway, the socks are a Pinterest inspired purchase and on second thought are a bit too out there for me. I still included them for some variety, but I'm not a huge fan of how they sit on my legs so I'll probably swap these out for tights. I topped off this outfit with a denim jacket for the cool academic vibe, but I think a light coloured blazer or even a trench coat will look great as well. And of course, what's an academia outfit without the signature ribbon holding your hair back? And it's probably the only thing that will actually hold together in my life during grad school. You can easily make a new outfit just by switching out the skirt. And I'm going further and switching out my trusty loafers for these boots. I'm so obsessed with these, and I think they go really well with this type of skirt. The heel is probably a bit too high for everyday wear, but they are chunky enough to be fairly comfortable if I did feel like being extra for one day. Paired with the skirt, I'm getting really heavy vintage vibes. Like 60s or 70s? I'm not too great with the decades, but I hope you know what I'm talking about. And I think this is definitely an outfit I'll wear if I'm going out after uni. It still looks sophisticated and appropriate for day wear, it saves me a trip home, and I can still look funky on a Friday night. Adding the corduroy jacket gives this outfit heavy art student vibes. I don't know if this is a noticeable trend in my outfits, but I really like the juxtaposition of dressy and casual pieces together. And tying it up like this might work too. I don't know, what do you guys think? Another thing I tried is to roll up the sleeves to expose the turtleneck sleeves. And I'm kind of a fan. I feel like this makes the turtleneck even more cohesive with the rest of the outfit and the black is not lost anymore in the shades of brown. Here's another variation of this outfit with a lighter turtleneck. This is the same turtleneck as the muted blue one I had on earlier. I'll shoot through the jacket options quickly just so you guys can see how the entire vibe of your outfit can change just by changing the colour of one item. I feel like this outfit is a little more homely than the previous one, but still serving that academia aesthetic goodness. We're onto outfit 10 and an angle change because it's starting to get dark. I'll swear this is the last turtleneck I'll show you, but aren't the ruffles on the neck adorable? I also like how the sleeves are slightly bell shaped on the bottom. I feel like this top makes any outfit look a bit more feminine and romantic. Oh, and the skirt is also handmade by me. With a pleated skirt, I think we're in more preppy style territory particularly because the colour is quite bold. And I feel like prep style has a lot more range when it comes to colours compared to academia aesthetic. I don't wear this skirt too often because it is pretty hard to style without looking too school girly. But this is my attempt at trying to be a bit more creative with it. The jumper over the shirt combo is probably the one trend that I haven't really tried and I feel like it's not a bad look. I just probably don't have the right shirt for it. I'm not too sure about the white peeking out underneath this jumper like that. So I paired it with a baggier jumper I stole from my boyfriend. And it ended up looking kind of cute and very preppy. I've added a puffer jumper because I feel like North Face puffers are peak eliticism in Melbourne, though I am just a mere peasant emulating the style with a Uniqlo puffer. The next two outfits feature these checkered style pants. I feel like these pants can look a little too officey, and that could be because they're both quite fitted and black and the white shirt isn't doing it any favours either. In fact, this ensemble kind of reminds me of my waitressing days. The brown jumper over the shirt is a bit of an improvement, but I feel like I look like a corporate drone here. Which, there's nothing wrong with that if you like a more fitted look. But I think a more baggier jumper makes the look a bit more reminiscent of the academia style. I think the combination of baggy top with slim pants, or baggy bottoms with a slim top, or even both baggy tops and bottoms, is a good way to avoid looking too businessy and more academic when you're styling business casual pieces in the academia style. It definitely helps to be comfortable and cosy when you're studying, writing poetry, or drinking coffee. 
So thank you so much for watching. This is a bit left of field to the kind of content that I normally make, but again, I'm still figuring out what I want to do on YouTube. So, but I had so much fun filming this video. So if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, you know what to do. Uh, all right, guys, until next time. Bye.